Hello everyone. Uh, once again, Michael Tucker here, uh, bringing you news from your very favorite, I'm sure, micro-publisher, Belfort and Bastion. Uh, today I need to introduce to you a new, uh, a new writer uh, in two of his books, and I also need to confess to a personal error. Ready? Okay, here goes. Uh, let's take the writer first. Uh, he is Peter H. Salas. You may actually already know Peter. Uh, he's a, a very busy boy indeed. He's a hardcore academic, uh, technical specialist. He has written articles on everything from oh, linguistics, or he's written articles and books about everything from linguistics to uh, Germanic languages to technical systems to the Unix operating system, you name it, he's been in it. Uh, he's traveled all over the world right now. He's, lives in, he's living in Canada, although I don't think there's a, 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 an English-speaking or otherwise nation that he hasn't had a, a, a tour of in some fashion or another. I first met uh, Peter, or ran across Peter many years ago now, about a decade ago. Uh, two decades ago? Anyway, uh, he was the head at that time of something called the Sun Users Group, and I was a trade press journalist. Uh, don't ask, it's a long story. Anyway, uh, I read across him again on LinkedIn, of all places, and asked him if he'd like to write for us. And to my delight, he agreed. To my surprise, what he wanted to write for us was not hardcore academic stuff or not technology stuff, but uh, novels, and in fact, love stories. We now have two of his novels on our site. Uh, one of these is Love and Lafferton, and the other is Along the Fink. Both are set in Australia, and continent he knows very well, uh, Peter knows rather well, and both star the same couple, um, uh, Gordon and Rowena, or Gordy and Weena as they call themselves, and it's their, their, their stories or those of two people who meet, fall in love, and adore each other. Um, so uh, like I say, we've got, we've got these two books, and I've got the, uh, I'll put the links in the comment section under this video to give them a shot. Okay, uh, now the um, the confession, the error. When I first got the documents from Peter, I was surprised by how little conflict there was between Rowena and Gordy. Um, I realized, in fact, I urged him to put a little in. I mean, I told him, to, you know, sprinkle a little contempt along with the uh, contentment. I mean, that's what we are told love stories are about these days. Go to the movies, watch television, read books. And you'll find that the general theme of most of what we call love stories these days actually involves two couples begin mutually detesting one another and then blindly groping toward each other in an attempt to um, overcome their mutual dislike until finally they come to a conclusion that, who knows, maybe the other person isn't as disgusting as they thought they were originally. Well, there's none of that in these these tales in in the Fink or in, um, along the Fink or in Love and Lafferton. We just have two people who fall in love and uh, have adventures together. Uh, and I, of course, as I say, I, I urged I urged uh, Peter to 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 inject a little more conflict, and he declined. And in retrospect, I think he was right, um, because you see, here's an interesting thing. People seem to like his books, which makes me wonder, could it be that people are actually, that readers in general, are getting a little tired of standard operating procedure within what we call love stories, or which may actually be pseudo-love stories? Could they be tired of all the conflict and the stress and the mutual distrust, the tales of endless near abuse? that they actually want some kind of armistice in the battle of the sexes. They actually want some kind of story about people who actually like each other. I'm not sure, but if it's so, and Peter's books sort of suggest that it is, then that would be very interesting development, and I would think maybe perhaps a welcome one. It would be nice to think that somewhere, somehow, even between men and women, Peace might occasionally break out. In any case, give the two a book, give the two books, and there are more coming, a, a glance. 
and I hope you enjoy them. Well, that's it for now. I'll talk to you next time when we'll have yet more to offer from Belfort and Bastion. Take care. Bye.